Hey, what if I forget my lines? Ah, my heart will just be doing big game, big game, big game. Ha! I won't have a second chance. Hey, when you're presenting on TV or radio live, there's nothing like take it again. Cut action. Cut action. It doesn't exist. And I know it's not easy. I mean, how do you get experience in live presenting when you are literally on the job? My name is Isabella Akinshe and thank you for stopping by my channel. Here I share my experiences as a media entrepreneur as well as an educationist. And I'm very passionate about Africa, I'm passionate about Nigeria. And as you can see, I'm passionate about content. So today I'm going down memory lane thinking about the first time I presented live on radio, live on television, and I'm going to be sharing five rookie mistakes to avoid. Being in Nigeria, I attended an all-girls secondary school in Lagos and there were opportunities for us to debate, to represent the school in quiz competitions and some of these things were actually pre-recorded. So that was a first taster of television. But for me, I remember actually at a point I was told that we're going to say one or two lines on air and I was like, oh my God, it was, you know, you want something, but then you're not sure how you're going to do and you're stiff and all of that. This, this is such a long time ago. Now, fast forward, um, when I was in university, I remember presenting, uh, producing my news bulletin on Cambridge University. They have a radio station called Cam FM 97.2 and I produced my news bulletin. I casted the news and then of course, um, I came back to Nigeria during a gap year and I started working in a publishing company. I hosted an event, a book reading. Someone saw me and said, ah, I see something in you. So I got invited. I actually thought it was radio, but it was TV. So I had my own segment called Bookaholic with Bella. It was every week on Today on STV. This must have been in 2009. That's like 11 years ago. So. That's how I started getting involved in the media. I also took part in a competition called Radio Superstars. Um, Radio Superstar, organized by Inspiration FM 92.3. And I was in the top four. And the fallout from that was that I got to co-present live on radio. Trust me, it was not as easy as it looks. And I'm still learning on the job. Live presenting on radio and TV is definitely not for the faint-hearted. So what I'm saying is that I've been in your shoes and you're thinking, I want to do this. I want to move from being a presenter that works on pre-recorded shows to actually live presenting, like no second chance. So what I'm going to be sharing are five rookie mistakes to avoid when presenting live on radio and television. So let's go straight to number one. Avoid showing off. Like this is not the time for you to show off your brilliance, show off your beauty, your brains, show off your wealth, your status, name dropping, who you know, what you know, where you went to. No, your role as a presenter is to guide the conversation. It is not just you. Like you are not the person that everybody wants to just tune in to see. It's because of your role there. So when you are live presenting, for example, you're live presenting a talk show, you don't spend so long trying to prove a point to the audience that I got this, I know all these things. You'll be really now facts and that in the, at the end of the day, the guests that you have will be like, ah, when will I get to talk? Is this their show or is it, am I a guest? What is happening? So avoid showing off. I know it, it can be very tempting because you want to put this one in there, put that one in there, and you really want to put your best foot forward. But if you, do less is more, like you just rein it in. Trust me, you will go much further. People will feel comfortable around you and they'll really allow you to be yourself. Now, the second rookie mistake to avoid is copycatting. Copycata, copycata, copycata. Don't be a copycat. I mean, let me use my first live presenting. Several years ago, I was a guest on Robin Minds on Channels Television and the producer saw something and 
over time i went on from being a guest regularly on the show to one day i was called in to present robin minds it's a one hour show on sunday and to fill in for ebuka obiochindo who was unavoidably absent so there i was no longer a guest but the host and what i did was i went to watch past episodes of the show not because i wanted to copy Ebuka for everything he did. I wasn't going to say, okay, Ebuka put his hand like this, he held his pen like this, he smiled like this, he did like this. No, I went to watch those videos to get inspiration, to learn, to see, okay, I'm representing someone, I'm filling in for someone. This is not my show. There's already a standard. I didn't go to go and be a copycatter, copycatter, no. So even if you have people you emulate, people you look up to, people that inspire you, borrow inspiration. Take from here, take from here, take from here and give of yourself. You need to be your own person when your life presents you. You cannot be as good as the original when you, you're a copycat. So that's a rookie mistake, like I'll just avoid it. Ebuka is great at what he does and there have been other presenters, not just me, who have filled in for him when he has been absent and I know each person tries to bring their own flavor without taking away from the format, from the, the flow of the show. Now let's move to number three and that is being stiff. You know how like, ah, oh, ah, oh, what am I going to do? Like, eh, look, even on radio, if you are stiff, people will hear it in your voice. You'll be surprised. If, if your body language is stiff and you, you are not free, you are not smiling, you are not engaging, you don't be, you are not convincing in what you are saying, then you just pass on that bad energy to your guest, you pass on that bad energy to your listeners, to your viewers, they are not sure, does this person know what they are doing, you know, that's why I say rookie mistake, don't be stiff. I know sometimes when the camera just comes and you're like, what if I forget my words, what if, but you know, you really need to relax, don't be stiff, because that positive energy, that freeness you have will rub off on your listeners, your viewers, your guests. So now let's move to number four. Four, taking your lines again. That's a rookie mistake. You know how you say, good afternoon and welcome to Robin Minds. My name is Isabella Akinshe. And maybe you wanted to say, ah, it's a beautiful afternoon. My name is Isabella Akinshe. Welcome to Robin Minds. That was what you had been practicing. But you ended up saying, good afternoon. My name is Isabella Akinshe. Welcome to Robin Minds. Don't be tempted to go back and retake that line. This is not pre-recorded. Like, okay, the editor will get rid of it in post. The editor can choose between the first take and the second take. Live presenting, you get one chance. If you do make a mistake and it happens to the best, you can make a mistake. You can trip on your words. You can have a grammatical error. You might say something incorrectly. Make sure that you correct yourself and you move on quickly. That is different from taking your lines Again, for example, I remember I was um, presenting on Robin Minds and I think I said Fulani Herdsman and the producer and the director whispered into my ear that don't say Fulani Herdsman, say Herdsman. So the next time I was talking, I just said Herdsman. I corrected myself, you know, but if I'd heard it, I'd have said, I beg your pardon, I meant Herdsman. But don't make it so obvious that you made a mistake and you have to take your lines Again, remember it's live, it's radio, it's TV. There's no second chance. And now number five, this is super, super important. Ignoring your team. That is a rookie mistake. Like ignoring the people behind you, in front of you. I mean, you're looking at your camera operators, your voice recorders, you're looking at your director, your producer. Like these people, it's, it's not a competition. Nobody is dragging, you know, your microphone with you. They want to stop your voice from going on air. Nobody is dragging, you know, your face with you being on TV. It's a team effort. It's a collaborative effort. So if you start ignoring, trust me, you'll run into a lot of problems. People will not want to work with you. You know, you, you can't see yourself. You can't literally hear yourself from the outside, if you know what I mean. So, I mean, see yourself, you can't see yourself, but hear, like, how am I sounding on the airwaves? And I remember um, an experience. I used to um, present a live radio show on 
Radio Continental. At that time, it, now it's known as Max FM. And it was a Sunday evening show live. We would get comments from social media. We'll also um, we'll, we'll share music, we'll discuss, we'll have guests in. And I remember my producer had told me that Hmm. It looks like, um, I think the Kogi governor-elect had passed on, but they were not sure. So they said, don't say anything. But just before I went off air, I remember he said, announce the passing of, I think the Kogi governor-elect. And he's also a past governor. And I announced it. And as soon as I did that and ended the show, 7 p.m. news came on and it was announced officially but i mean i felt really good like i got to break it on radio but i mean if i wasn't listening to my producer my director i would have been a know it all and it would have been a missed opportunity so these are five rookie mistakes to avoid i'm sure there are other rookie mistakes that you've made i've made we've all made like nobody comes to this world knowing it all and that's why i want you to connect with me in the comment section let me know what rookie mistakes you've made let me know how you've corrected them and really let's grow together this channel is my channel but it's also your channel it's our channel so let me have your comments let me have your feedback and of course if you've enjoyed this video thumbs up share the link with somebody else subscribe subscribe tap that bell so you get notifications when new videos come out and really follow me or follow me on social media i'm at i can share on twitter isabella i can share on facebook and instagram you can also find me on linkedin so till i come your way next time thank you so much for tuning in for watching liking commenting and i can't wait to come back with yet another video but for now bye bye